Paul, appreciate you joining us on iFollow Ipswich. Um, best to start with an injury update, and in particular, John Nolan. Uh, Nolan's OK. Uh, he's back, so which is good for us because he's been playing really, really well. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's a good sign. Anyone else sort of on the fringe, or are they slightly longer term? No, the lads are still out. They're still longer term. And, um, but they're doing well. They're doing, they're doing a lot better, so um, hopefully in the next few weeks we'll get them back. And although Nolo was missing for the uh, the Blackpool trip, showed that strength in depth with Emir Hughes stepping in and playing really well. Yeah, no, it did. Um, again, we're, we're still doing the bare bones of picking a squad, but the, the Emir came in, done well. So um, yeah, we but Nolo coming back is a big a big plus for us. How much does a win and a performance really get you going for the week, the training? You know, how, how was the mood in camp? Well, you try and keep it the same, whether you win, lose or draw, you try and keep it the same. You, you try and not go too high when you're winning, not too low when you lose. So, um, But it's, it's a strange situation with the way the pandemic is and everything. So um, we just try and keep it the same and we've made a, we've made a good start. The lads have said you do try and, try and stay grounded, sorry, but you, you have to celebrate those wins, don't you? It's still a statement win going somewhere and putting four goals past the team. Winning is the, the greatest thing. Mm -hmm. and. Um, if you play well and, and you do win, great. If you win and you, you don't play well, okay. But winning is the main thing in, in football. And, and we've started the season really well. Lads are playing with a lot of confidence and we, we, we're going to try and win again. Off the pitch, we've seen a few developments with um, Project Big, Big Picture. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? That's basically been scrapped. Yeah, well, I said the other day, I, 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 there's too much controversial things for me going around to to make that work. Um, and. I couldn't see a clear answer to it or the right way to do it. The Premier League of clubs have come out and said no. Mm -hmm. It's quite rightly they're entitled to do. I just thought it was too much of a controversial subject to say this is what's going to happen. So I think in 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 the, in the long term, whether they reconstruct English football or in another way where everybody agrees and the, it's fair, then then understand it. But when it only becomes so many clubs that want to do it, then that's no no fear. We have seen in its place this financial support package sort of turned down the 50 million from the Premier League. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that one? It's kind of up in the air. Is it just one that needs looking at in great detail? I'm not sure that's even going to be anywhere near enough. Mm. That's for sure. So if they've knocked it back, which, which you're saying, then I understand why. Yeah. But is it one where there might be positives and negatives and you just think they need to study the, the sort of situation further? come up with a decision eventually? There needs to be, well, going back to the first subject, there needs to be everybody really singing from the same hymn sheet to, to make this work, to make it go through. I, I say I don't know the financial side of it, but 50 million for me going through League One and Two is yeah. nowhere near going to be enough. It's huge, isn't it? Because we're talking about the future of football clubs. Yeah, yeah, and it's sad. And that is the way it is. If it's true the government are not going to try and help, then uh, football has to find a way. But I still worry about the game, some of the clubs where it's where it is, is going, to, going to go. We won't be all doom and gloom though, because on the pitch things are looking good for us this season. How important is momentum going to be in a long season like this? Uh, you, you take one game off at a time. We, we, we try and do our best every game, we try and play well and um, hopefully the results follow. We've started well, it's a long, long way to go. and we. We try, Jacob, we really try to improve on what we did last year. And on tomorrow, Accrington, they've, they've taken some big scalps this season, haven't they? They're not just going to roll over. No, no, it's a, it's a tough game. But again, we're playing well. It's a tough game for Accrington as well. We, we're playing well. We, we're at home. We're going to try and do what we've been doing. Finally, transfer deadline too. Are we any closer to seeing some of the younger lads going out on loan, potentially? No, not this minute. Um, and that's the state school right across the board at the minute. We, um, we, uh, at the minute we can't let the kids out because we, we need them ourselves. And just to clarify, the club is in a position where it's unlikely there'll be any sort of more permanent signings either going or coming? It looks like that at the minute. I don't think we'll, we'll, we'll do anything. We, yeah. We're at that limit anyway, so um, no, we, we won't be doing anything. Yeah.